Welcome to Hong Kong Blu-rays. Today we're shining a spotlight on David Wu and looking at two of his films. David Wu was born in Southbridge, Massachusetts, 2nd of October 1966. David was raised in Taiwan, but he attended high school in America. He graduated from the University of Washington in Seattle. Using his family connections, he became known on Channel 5 as the host of Go West, a TV show which taught Chinese people how to speak both formal and informal English. In 1988, David made his acting debut in the Bridget Lynn film Story is the Night and received a fair amount of praise for his performance, along with a HKFA Best Newcomer Award. Although he never became a major star, he has had a solid career with many films and TV acting credits to his name. He is still active in the business to this day. Welcome to HKB, I'm Leon. I'm Shaz. And, as we said in the intro, we're going to shine a little spotlight on the actor David Wu. A lot of you guys will be familiar with him. Um, he was one of the stars in the recent release from 88 Films, Robo Tricks. He was the lead male actor in that one. And uh, we've seen him before in Shaw Brothers film, Story is the Night, with George Lamb and Bridget Lynn. And also in Tiger Cage 2 with Donnie Yen from d and Films back in the day. And we thought, well, we've got some films with David Wu in. Not a lot of people talk about David Wu. So let's have a look at two of his films and decide whether it's Woo Hoo or Woo Hoo. So that's the theme for today's video. So what's up first, Shaz? First up, we have Finale in Blood. So another release by Panorama on the Hong Kong Classics range label. And yes, um, this was quite an interesting interesting film. It was completely different to what we expected, wasn't it? Yes. We, we looked at the cover and we were thinking we were going to get something like My Heart Is That Eternal Rose. It looked like very heroic bloodshed -y. But what we actually got was, um, well, let's, let's read. Do you want to read out okay. the synopsis, synopsis on the back of this? <clears throat> Give you a brief rundown of what it's about. A radio disc jockey who unexpectedly comes into contact with the beautiful ghost Feng. Hoping to seek revenge on the man responsible for her death, Feng persuades Cheng to tell her story on air. Unfortunately, while Cheng's radio show gains high popularity, it also attracts the attention of Feng's killer. So there you go. We obviously never read the synopsis before we watched the film. No. <laughs> Which we didn't, but it, but it was, was a nice surprise. Yeah, it was good going in cold, wasn't yes. it? Yes. And Cheng, by the way, is played by Lawrence Cheng, who regular watchers of the channel will know we love very much from Yuppie Fantasia films and many others. Um, he was quite good as the lead yes. in this. Yes. This film was um, quite light-hearted. It was. It had some yeah. humorous mm -hmm. moments, but not as strong a humour as things like. Um, oh, she starts the fire uh, and mm. other films of that ilk. Um, I'm struggling to think of any titles at the minute, but you know what I mean. The usual type of Hong Kong comedy. Yeah, it wasn't an outright comedy. No, no it did sort of go quite serious at the end. Mm -hmm. Bit of a twist there. Yeah, and it was like ghost story-ish. Yes. And it was very lavish in the way it was filmed. I thought this one. You know, the yeah. cinematography I thought was fantastic. Some yes. really choice mm. angles, like at the beginning where you're looking down in between the stairs at the woman's face yes. looking up. Um, yeah, so it looks great and it has a kind of a feel to me, a, a mix of elements like um, Chinese girl story, maybe spiritual love with Chai and Fat, and um, Rouge, the Anita Moy film, with the sort of serious tone of it. And uh, yeah. I, 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 I liked, I liked the mix. It felt fresh to me. Yes. Yeah. 
And there was, uh, you know, the rest of the cast was pretty good in this. So if we uh, have a little look, we had um, Cameo by Tony Long Corfe. He's just like a street vendor or something, and mm -hmm. he? So, you know, can't really shout out too much about his role. Just good to see him pop up. And then uh, we have the actress to Guan Mei playing the ghost thing. Mm -hmm. And also from Robo Tricks, having another bit of a swing with David Wu is the Japanese actress Ayoma Chikako. And uh, she looked pretty fantastic, and I thought mm -hmm. her role was pretty good in this. Yeah, she was really, really good in this. Yeah. So, what did you think of David Wu in this? Um, well, not so keen on his character, but <laughs> him, him portraying it, brilliant. Yeah. I'd say. Yeah, um, he did play a bit of a low life in this, but I, you know, I think he did what was required of the role, but yes. I don't think he was stretched in this one. No, no, I no? think that's fair to say. Yeah, this was a kind of um, pretty boy, cheeky chappy, um, you know, that sort of character. And the, the, there's moments in the film where maybe you're supposed to sympathise with him, but because of how he's acted and behaved, you can't really sympathise with him. Um, I, I think this was kind of a, 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 for him, a bog standard role. He didn't get to show any developed acting chops in this. No. But he was perfectly functional, you know? Yes. Yeah? Yes, I think that's fair. Yeah, and, um, you know, Lawrence Chang is Lawrence Chang, and um, he, he always delivers, you know? I, I did I did enjoy the ghostly aspects to this. Nothing creepy guys, it's it's all kind of in good humour, isn't it? Mm. Um even though like you say it does go to dark places at the end of the mm. film, we'll not ruin that for you. All I can say is that, you know, I I really kind of recommend this film for me. It's a Hong Kong movie oddity that has got plenty going on in there and mm. and it it kind of plays in my mind afterwards. I keep, I keep finding myself thinking about it. I, I really enjoyed this one. Um, I'm going to score this one 8 out of 10. What about you? 7 out of 10. I didn't enjoy it quite as much as you did. Mm -hmm. So there you go, folks. That's um, a little bit of a woohoo, but not as much as we was hoping. <laughs> Right, so this Fruit Chan directed film, another one of these films we like, it came with this cover, no slip case this time. Yes. So the interior imagery, and I believe we have a postcard. Yep. The picture was fantastic on this, as was the sound, and the subtitles were very, very clear, giving the package three stars. So next up, we have one of our favorite director's films here, Derek Yi. It's a 1995 film starring Andy Lau, Full Throttle. This one's um, a really good film. It's it's about bikers and street racing. Um, we covered Legend of Speed a while back, and this film's connected. Like Legend of Speed's like a sort of pseudo sequel to this one. So mm -hmm. Shouse was very keen to see this one. I'd seen it before. I have a DVD of it, really old DVD. I think it might even be a flipper. Um, but yeah, um, a lot of bike racing, there's a lot of problems between sons and fathers in this mm -hmm. one. Um, Andy Lau's father is played by Paul Chun, David Chang's brother, he was very good in this one. And then we have a love interest in the form of Gigi Leung, and um, also a friend uh, and a, a fellow racer played by our odd buddy David Wu. So, again, is it going to be woohoo or woohoo in this one? What do you think, Chaz? Um, David Wu for me, mm -hmm. um, I really enjoyed him in this film. Um, I remember thinking the first half of the film, it felt like David Wu was the main star. Mm -hmm. and, um, but the second half of the film, it focused more on Andy Lau's character. Um, but I really felt that David Wu, you know, completely sort of held the first half of the film being the main focus, for, for me at least. And mm. it, yeah, he didn't feel out of place as being that main star when you've got someone else, you know, with, um, Andy Lau's calibre in the film with him. You know, it felt really evenly matched. 
Yeah. I think that's fair to say. Surprisingly, I've got to agree. I was, I was pretty gobsmacked. I don't remember having watched this before, being particularly stunned by it or struck by this film. And watching this Nova Media release, I'm like, wow, this is good. This is really good. Mm -hmm. I thought, and David Wu is acting toe to toe with Andy Lau. Mm -hmm. And his charisma is yes. really, really shining through. I really felt, you yeah. might say, the charisma yeah. of David Wu in this film. Yeah, I thought he was matching mm -hmm. Andy Lau. Mm -hmm. And I don't ever think anybody matches Andy Lau, ever. Yeah, but um, yeah, he did. It was an outstanding performance from him. Um, you know, there's other good actors in this. We've got um, Chin Carlock. Yes. He's like yes. number two racer to Andy Lau and his group. Mm -hmm. And um, stunning performance from him in this yes. as well. Yeah. I mean, he Brilliant. was really good in this Chin Carlock, I thought, mm -hmm. you know. And there's. Um, a lovely lady that plays his grandma, who is played by Teresa Ha. And we also have, you know, my um, my my, my look-alike, Elvis Choi in there. <laughs> <laughs> Just joking. Um, no, I like our Elvis Choi a lot. Um, yes, he was good in this as well. He was good. Yeah. Another underrated actor. Yeah. And yeah. You know, not a huge, huge part, but when he's in it, you know, he he, he delivers. You know, mm -hmm. he he does what is required, and then gives a little bit more, as I think he always does. Mm -hmm. And I, I like him in this. I like Paul Chun in this. Yes. What do you think of Gigi Leon? Yeah, I I liked her as well in this yeah. actually, and it was nice because we'd seen her in um, La Brassière, mm -hmm. and it was lovely to see her. I think she made this before La Brassière, yeah. so it was nice to see her in an earlier film. Yeah, she was pretty young she in was, this. I think she, yeah, quite young, yeah. But yeah, she played a you know quite a, a really good role. Good role, yeah. Mm. And then there was the stepmom played by Lao Ying Hung. Um, she was quite good too. Yeah, not a massive role for her, but I, I really liked her. Yeah, yeah, she fit in with the rest Good of the role. cast. Yeah. I like the story, I like that it's drama focused. Mm. And it was very heavily drama focused. Mm -hmm. There's not too much of the bikes really, I guess. No. It's more about the people. Yes, absolutely. It's about the people, the different relationships, but it's perfectly executed, mm. you know. Mm -hmm. um, is, is there any more you want to say about this film, or shall I leap ahead with my score? You carry on. Yeah, fantastic. Really impressed with this film. Big fan of Derek Yi. Um, big fan of Andy Lau. And for me, this is definitely a woohoo. I'm giving this one a resounding 9 out of 10. Loved it. How about you, Charles? Wow. I really enjoyed this too, and I was completely absorbed by the story and everyone's performances, which were brilliant, particularly David Wu for me. Um, so it's a woohoo from me too, and I'm scoring full throttle 10 out of 10. Du, 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 du. Wow, after a year, at last we get a 10 from Chance. <laughs> Wow, I'm so pleased. I'm so pleased you enjoyed it that much. Um, what do you guys think out there? Have you seen this? How do you rate it? We'd be interested to know. Please leave us a comment or email us at hongkongblurays at gmail.com. So, what do we get in the uh, package with this disc? So, like I said, it's an over media release. We get this lovely glossy slipcase. It's slightly embossed. Really nice. There's some. Lovely postcards. It's quite a few here. Very nice to have. Yeah, they're great. I love it when you get those. And then the nice new ray box. Yeah. Yeah, it's good. Again, the the picture was was fine in this. It's not necessarily the best I've ever seen, but it's a massive, massive upgrade to the DVD. Sound was great. Good soundtrack yeah. um, and subtitles were really good as well. Yeah. So we're going to give this one three stars as well. Um, yeah, I think after after this, we're going to be 
Celebrate good times, come on! So yeah, whilst we're celebrating guys, um, we'll also be thinking about the next videos. We hope you enjoyed this one, um, if you did, perhaps give us a like. Uh, we hope to see you guys next time, and remember, be true and buy the woo.